Welcome to another episode. We are back with Pritchard. Another one of his beasts, completely different one from the Land Rover Defender 90 we tested recently. This time we had Santa Pod. And what are we going to do at Santa Pod? Well, the Jerome, this is my daily driver. Yes. So this is my uh, road going Tesla powered Beetle. So I've got a, a P100D Tesla performance drive unit in the rear and full like interior, four seats. Um, got carbon fiber, a bit of light weight in, but not by much, but it's, it's my practical everyday going to the uh, school run shopping park. All right, all right, all right. So when did you build this and what have you been doing with this? Uh, I built this a uh, good six years ago, maybe even seven now, if I did that long. It went through a couple of iterations. I put like a HPEVS motor in first and I put two HPEVS motor in. And I thought, you know what, let's just go full beans, put a Tesla motor in. And uh, I just done it a little bit of styling wise, like I like, lowered a little bit. Got the uh, Porsche Cup 2 uh, alloys on it. Um, as I say, bit of carbon fiber light weighting with a carbon fiber bonnet, yeah. fiberglass, carbon fiber. That's pretty much it. Interior is uh, quite nice. There you go. So nice and trimmed interior. Um, carbon fiber seats you'll see on the back. They're uh, nice carbon fiber seats, lightweight. Renault 5 GT Turbo rear seats trimmed the same. Is this faster than a Porsche then? Uh, a little bit, mate, <laughs> right? yeah. So uh, not 60 on the road, on, on road tires. I don't have slicks or anything. Not 60 is uh, 2.7 seconds. Wow. Uh, and uh, I've just done one run this morning. Uh, so far, 10.7 on the drag strip on street tires, but it's very cold um, uh, today and not a prep track. So theoretically it should be in the nines, but uh, the fastest I've done on road tires is 10.2, but uh, it would be nowhere near that today. I've seen some supercars and hypercars go up. It should be really low tens and they're struggling to get even into the tens and most of them are elevens at the moment. So today you'll be beating anything on the track as long as you can get traction and uh, yeah. go when the green light. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I haven't seen anything that's faster than me. I've yeah. seen um, that AMG of uh, Tim uh, Smee, uh, what was it an AMG? What was it? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, the Black and, Series BMW. Um, yeah, Mercedes and some AMG. new Ferraris got. Uh, the V12. I haven't seen anything yeah, faster yeah, so far, yeah. but it's, it's all about just introducing the traction, as you're about to find out, because it's going to take you for a spin, mate. <laughs> yes. Have you got, have you got your life insurance? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I have my helmet also, just yeah. in case. Yeah, that, that won't help. <laughs> Oh, we're going against some um, bikes today. <laughs> no, we won't. That's the funny thing, you could almost beat a bike. It should be yeah, bikes, yeah. 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 But we won't be up against bikes because yeah, I don't think yeah. they allow a car versus mm -hmm. a bike. Yeah. Head to heads. So when I put my uh, foot down and hold that button, it'll keep the front brakes on. And then I'm just Oh, there we go. Little bit of traction. So <laughs> uh, let's go around uh, all the technical aspects of the cars. Uh, so you said... So EV drivetrain wise, um, what we've got, we've got a LG Chem battery pack. So we've got a uh, 6S2P configuration. Okay. Uh, they're the LG Chems out of the Chrysler Pacifica, uh, a number of years old now, five, six, seven years old, whatever. But they're quite high C rating and putting two in parallel gives you a nice punchy pack so you don't get too much voltage um, sag. The motor can pull up to 1200 amps, you see. So wow. you, you yeah. want it to be able to cope with that amount of amps. Uh, and we've got the pack split 50-50 between a front pack and a rear pack. Uh, rear pack's behind the back seats. Uh, front pack is um, in the front where the old petrol tank used to be. Um, Do you have a 50-50 weight distribution now? On, on this, uh, the car weighs around about, uh, I think it's 10-65 kilos. Um, so it's a little bit heavier than the original Beetle, but obviously, you know, not 16, 2.7 seconds. So <laughs> weight is not a problem. Brake wise on the front, in fact, you can probably go around the front there now. Uh, you'll see, obviously, 
with great power comes great responsibility as far as brakes is concerned. So we've got a Porsche 996 or 997 brake setup. Okay. Uh, calipers, vented discs and stuff like that on there. And uh, Golf GTI rear discs and uh, brakes on there. So braking wise, it's fantastic. Obviously you've got the additional uh, braking of the regen anyway. And then I've got uh, dashboard wise, fairly custom. So a dashboard, I've got my um, uh, neutral forward reverse on this side and all my other lights, windscreen wipers, horn, etc. here. And then just down there, I've got all I need to know if I switch the car on uh, with a little dilithium BMS display that tells me all I need to know about the battery pack uh, as far as volts, amps, things like that is concerned, how much energy I've got. So, uh, yeah, so it's a nice practical car. The seats go forward, you get two or three people in the back. Um, <laughs> I haven't messed around with putting a roll cage in, uh, um, you know, making it impractical. So I quite like to keep my road cars as practical as possible, but obviously insanely fast. Do you drive this in the winter in Wales? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you've got to be very careful putting the power down in anything other than perfect conditions. Yeah. Um, you've got to respect the power, basically. But yeah, I drive it all year round. Um, and obviously, you know, in winter, when the salt's on the road, I try not to drive it too much. I'm probably in my Land Rover most of the time in the winter, or my bus when it's yeah. fixed, obviously. <laughs> so you've had this a few years now. I know you mentioned you wanted to get rid of it, but at the same time, it's yeah. not gone, so. So I was gonna sell it, and then we had somebody instantly contact us to say, I want it, I want it, I want it. I'm overseas, but I can't get back for a few months. And it kind of dragged on. It was one of these, I, I don't want to say, uh, a time waster but uh it just dragged on and i thought you know what i'm into summer now the porsche 928 isn't going to be finished until the winter i'm just gonna i'm just gonna keep it for a bit more fun so yeah i've got it for uh another summer and then um yeah i'll probably uh let it go as, as soon as the porsche 928 builds it's gone which, uh, you know you follow it on our youtube channel you know what we're building there uh, as soon as that's getting close to being finished then i'll just let this go because i can't have two crazy supercar type you know cars it's just it's just being selfish isn't it <laughs> if you were to rebuild this today uh like a next generation then you could still drive on the road nothing <laughs> Nothing crazy like the bug zap out. Would you opt for the same drivetrain? Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's no point putting a plaid setup in the back. I mean, that's the only uh, thing you could upgrade it to would be a plaid setter, but you just wouldn't get the traction. Yeah, the traction you, would still be the issue. You wouldn't go any faster unless you put slicks on. This is fast enough. You don't, I mean, I mean a Beetle that does 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds is fast enough. <laughs> so I would probably keep it exactly the same, you know, Tesla motor in the back, um, EV controls, T2C controller on it. I might put a traction control on it, but you know, it's me. So, I mean, I, I can control it without traction control just with, you know, analog with my foot, but I'd probably do exactly the same. How do you charge this? So um, on this, I've only got an AC charger. So actually that's a good point. The only difference I would do now would be uh, put the uh, uh, CCS on it. Okay. Um, because, you know, with, with AC it's fine. It's enough to get, uh, you know, go through the mountains and go to the coast and back and stuff like that. But if I was going down to London and back then, yeah, it, it's, quick, it's yeah. impossible really. So that's the only thing I'd change. So yeah, follow us on uh, Electric Classic Cars YouTube channel if you want to see uh, other crazy builds like this and uh, follow the uh, the journey of how we get on Pike Peak and Bugs Zapper. All right, guys, even though Richard is saying this is slow compared to what he could do because he cannot get traction, it's still one of the fastest cars we've seen here today at Santapod. He's been beating Lamborghinis and Ferraris all day by far. So guys, if you like what you saw today and you want to see more of those wild builds, let us know in the comments below. Give us a like and guys, we'll see you in the next one.